Hi friends, today in this video we are going to talk about what is the influence of a teacher and what are the requirements that we need to become a teacher in India. As it is said by C.S. Lewis, the task of modern educator is not to cut trees. It is not to cut down jungles, but to irrigate deserts. Yes, my children. Yes, my viewers. It is quite right that better than a thousand days of diligent studies in one day with a great teacher. A teacher affects the eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. The duties of a teacher are neither few nor small, but they elevate the mind and give energy to the character. Sadly, many a times across I have come across people who have taught, thought that teaching is the cup of tea for everyone. Anyone who wants to do something can become a teacher. My question here goes to all of them. Just imagine how did the great saints, how did the great people like Dr. Radha Krishnan, APJ Abdul Kalam, come. This is because it was the influence of their teacher. In his autobiography, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam has given gratitude to many of his teachers, starting right from his primary teacher. A teacher is not the one who really, who only teaches you from the book, but a person who teaches you from his heart. A teacher molds the entire character and the personality of a person. It's not just giving back the theory that is written in the book. It's really a sad state when I come across people saying that it's easy to become a teacher. Teacher, in fact, is the mother of all the other careers. Whether you want to become a doctor, whether you want to become an engineer, an MBA, anybody, anyone, any career that you want to choose. It's the teachers who influence that career. The name may be different. Primary teacher, secondary teacher, senior secondary teacher, professor, reader, lecturer. But basically they are the one who actually imparts that knowledge. Instills that knowledge in you. Therefore, before becoming a teacher... We need to know the basic criteria. It's a noble profession. It's going to put a great impact on the lives of the future of nation. Whatever the teacher teaches today is going to be the future tomorrow. Don't think anyone can become a teacher. I come across people. I come across parents who say, we want to make our girl a teacher. Why? Because she would be able to look after her family. My sincere request to all those people is that teaching is not where you end up your day in your school or in your college. 
it's also a whole time full time profession where your mind goes on working and with the new nep policy the new education policy the new system of education where we are more on to integral parts where we are more on to the digital part their teaching has become more tedious so never think on that ground that teaching is going to end up with the day you have come off from your college or your school and then you are going to look after your family you are going to shape up the futures of millions of people sadly when i come across people who want when i ask them what do you want to become people say doctors engineers mbas but not a teacher according to the survey around 3.74 lakh teachers post are vacant in our in our country no i am not exaggerating this is actually the numbers we require to change the society so now let us come to the part that how to become a teacher you have primary teachers primary school teachers those who teach from nursery till fifth standard then you have teachers who are teaching 6 to 8 or 10th then you have the senior secondary teachers and then you have the lecturers or readers and professors if you are very keen on becoming a primary teacher then you can start off right after your 12th standard you can opt for courses like jbt btc that's a basic basic teachers training courses or dd diploma in education in some areas we also say it as dit but basically dit is the institution and they are providing you this two years curriculum in which you are trained to handle the nursery or till primary you can handle it whereas if you are keen if you are keen to go for a better job then it is very very important that you complete your grads because to become a teacher for a particular subject you need to clear bed in the schools and it definitely takes time you can shift on to first of all a graduate course you can go for ba if you are having the subjects like english or political science or history then you can take up ba in the same any of the subjects and then become the teacher for that particular or you also have integrated courses which are there in some of the universities right now and that consists of ba plus ba and that is a four years integrated course once you complete this is ba plus ba or bsc plus ba also is there that is bsc will be focusing on science subjects once you complete this then right now we also have to clear the ctet center teacher eligibility test or state teacher eligibility test this is for the government schools but even the private schools nowadays they are also preferring the same then you also can become you can also offer bled in du you have bled that's bachelor's in elementary education it's similar to dled but what happens is that you also get the bachelor's degree but you are eligible to become a primary teacher only there's a 3 years course plus 1 year is for the practice 
in delhi university you have the entrance for the same then you have teaching in physical education like bpe b physical education d physical education and even after becoming after pursuing b ed you can also go for masters in education m ed m a education m phil they are some of the areas where you can take and then you can go for the senior classes now let us come to the eligibility criteria for becoming a professor for becoming a professor actually there is no age criteria which has been set by ugc that's because many people choose to to become professors after prior experience the first criteria you require is you need to have a masters degree with minimum aggregate percent like for b ed if you want to enter into b ed it's 50% in your grads in all the three years you need to whereas in masters the degree it depends or else according to ugc for general category it is 60% the very first is you need to clear net that's the national eligibility test or net which which is conducted by nta national testing agency you must have the masters degree with 55% from a recognized university and once you clear this exam you are eligible to become assistant professors across the colleges and university then for engineering you have gate graduate aptitude test in engineering this is an all india competitive exam which is uh, which is commissioned by gate committee they have the faculty from iisc bangalore and seven iits we can also use gate scores to pursue phd and once you clear that you have the lecturer or professor post in iits and nits then we also have the sleets that's to work in the state level colleges csir this is in the field of science life science physical science chemical science mathematical science earth science we have to apply for junior research fellowship or lectureship the one beauty is that if you are a phd that's from a regular mode you have been evaluated by two externals you have to appear for the viva was also you must have published two papers then you are exempted from any t or slet so forget that teaching is a cup of any one's cup for any one's tea it's not the cup for any one it's not that any one who is sitting idle can start teaching it's not that opening the book reading the same thing making the students rot learning making them learning the same thing which is written in the book teaching is more than that you need a passion to become a teacher you need to have deep interest in that subject you need to have innovative ideas for teaching you should always be ready to update yourself you should be able to problem problem solving ability you should have the time management you should have the positive confidence teachers are not going to only build up a child they are going to tell up the path to the child on which he or she walks and succeeds a teacher's job is to take a punch of live wires and see that they are well grounded so i would end up this session with the quote 
A truly amazing teacher is hard to find, difficult to part with and impossible to forget. Bye-bye for today. We'll meet with the next video very soon.